hello, hello. Hi, 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 friends. Welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. Um, I thought, first of all, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've had a very full, busy life these last few months, and I had a chance finally this last weekend to get away for a quiet little relaxing getaway. Um, and so I feel recharged. Yay! Um, I hope that you guys have found some space to do the same. Truthfully, world's a little crazy, life's a little crazy, and you know, you need those little respites to have some recharge. So take some advice and do it for yourself. Even if it's for a day or for a few hours, do it. You deserve it. Give it to yourself, okay? <laughs> please, please do it. Um, we are going to move to, we're going to work with Elegant Writer today, a lot with the Elegant Writer. Um, I also have my Stabilo All. I have, I grab a few of these because I go through them so quickly when I'm working because I do a lot of charcoal because I love charcoal. So I grabbed a few of those, my black and white General's charcoal. Um, I also have my Peel and Sketch charcoal because it's just the pigment. It's so black and I love it. And I love that it's firm. This one is not super firm to where it like scratches the paper. I don't like that. This is a medium. I like it a lot. And then I grabbed a couple different pencils, just my... This is Murado Black Warrior HB2. Um, the erases, it works really well. It's not super shiny, but it's, I'm just going to use it for um, sketching. Although I just want to say that it doesn't get a super shine if you do want to work with it um, fully, like if you want to do a full, full graphite piece, whenever, this is a good one. The only thing is, is it's not a very dark pencil. It doesn't get very, it doesn't get super dark. It kind of stays in the mid-tone, mid to soft tone. Um, no matter what the layers are, but I like that it doesn't have a super sheen on it. This is the Murado Black Warrior HB2. And then I also have my trusty Graph Gear 1000 0.3, my favorite favorite. And I grabbed my Click Pentel Click Eraser and also my Tombow Mono Knock Eraser and a Dirty Blending Stump because of the charcoal. A lot of this, remember, as always, I might not use it, most of it or I might use all of it. I don't know. And then there's another white one. And then I have my Jelly Roll pen, white Jelly Roll pen, and my white um, Uniball Signo white gel pen. And then I grabbed a few different paint brushes because I will be activating my Elegant Writer markers. I have a 0 0.2 and a 0 0.3 here. Let's show. The nib sizes are different. This one's a little smaller. This is good for more detail stuff. I have an idea, and we're going to see if it works. That's a 0.2. And that's a point three. Let me just show them together. The three is pretty, a, a bit more, got a little bit more meat to it. So it works. I, this one is for bigger areas, I guess you would say. I guess is the best way to describe it. But this one, this piece, if it works out the way I am thinking, this piece has a lot of um, belly writer in it. So like I said, I have my paintbrush. It doesn't matter what size. I just grab whatever. I also wanted to grab my white gesso just in case. No, I'm not 100% sold on that, but I have it just in case because gesso is my friend. I have a paintbrush for that. And then, of course, my trusty Carbothellos. I'm not sure I will be using these, but I always keep them close. Always keep them close. And then I'm going to do some salt, use some salt on the... Um, Elegant Writer when I do it. And I have, this is the substrate I'm going to work on today. It's the Tone Blue Mixed Media 184 pound mixed media paper by Strathmore. And that's the color. And that's my piece and I've taped it down to my board with my Pro Artist tape. So there's that. And I think that's it. I do have my little trusty uh, mini handheld back for if I use charcoal or the carpathellos. I always kind of keep it close, keep it with me. These are, it's a mini handheld back. You can get them in all different sizes and styles on um, Amazon. This thing has saved me in so many ways because I work so much with charcoal and chalk pastel that um, it's not super great to blow it up in the air, like, you know, to blow it off, which kind of kicks up the particles in the air. So this thing, I don't have to do that anymore. I just, you know, gently place it all around and it picks it right up. Sometimes it doesn't get the eraser dust always, but um, I'm not worried about the eraser dust. I'm worried about the pastel. So we're good there. We're good there. Even though it's minimal supplies, I look like I have a gob here, don't I? <laughs> don't be afraid. I just got multiples of the same thing. I also didn't mention I have the Stabilo All, um, which is also water soluble. It's black. It's fabulous. If you've never played with it before, highly recommend 
super it's just once you hit water it takes very little to go a very long way so once the water hits it it's delicious it's delicious delicious okay here's your spiel if you like what you're seeing and you're enjoying how to tuesdays please like and subscribe and click that bell if you click the bell you get personal notifications also 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 i would be very honored if you went and looked at my patreon channel um i have all kinds of really fun projects for my patrons and if you didn't know i do do the full length real time how to tuesdays on my patron uh, patreon channel um if you join you get access to the full length videos yeah i mean you can watch them here at the the way they are now like i usually present them or you can come and play with me and see the full length okay thank you so much for being here wish me luck <laughs> and um let's get started okay you guys Thank you.